They call them solidarity chains. Female strength against police violence and mass detentions in Belarus. For Renata on the right, it was her first time to rebel. I will do peaceful women protest today and another day because uh, uh, I understood that this is the part when I can be useful, where I can give something. Neighbouring Lithuania wants to be useful too. Its leader no longer recognising Alexander Lukashenko as president. I think uh, we cannot call Mr Lukashenko legitimate because there were no free democratic elections in Belarus. He's offered to mediate a dialogue between the regime and the opposition, along with Latvia, Estonia and Poland. If it uh, will be not sufficient, or if you say, OK, if it will fail, fail then we will probably uh, start to look for other alternatives. And uh, the sanctions which could be imposed on Belarus are uh, also possible. What role is Russia playing in all of this? Russia is interested to have the satellite state uh, and Belarus would be probably fully integrated into Russia if we will stay passively and if we will just be watching this process. So our interest, uh, not only the interest of Lithuania but also the interest of European Union is stable democratic and sovereign Belarus. A fourth night of protests was smaller than before, but this mutiny is real. Even workers from state-run factories joining in. Many see the main challenger in last Sunday's election as the true president. But she's in hiding in Lithuania, and one of the key women who supported her fled to Moscow. I would like to ask all international community, all the international leaders, not to acknowledge Lukashenko as the acting president because he is illegitimate. A bold request. But in Belarus, the chorus for change is growing louder. Deborah Haynes, Sky News, Vilnius.